Here's how you add icons and visuals to a SharePoint list without changing any underlying data and without writing a line of code. This works for SharePoint lists and Microsoft lists. It's pretty common for us to start with a fairly blank looking list like this. It's really hard to see any trends in the data, especially if you've got lots of it. First up, head to an AI helper that you've got access to. You can use Copilot. I'm gonna be completely transparent Copilot has been letting me down. It starts to do slightly random things with the example I'm going to show you, and I don't think you need to go through the painful process of correcting it each time. ChatGPT, on the other hand, seems to tend to get it right. So, I'm going to use ChatGPT. Your choice, please do experiment. Paste in the following prompt. We're going to generate JSON to use the advanced formatting options of a SharePoint list column. And you can see there, I've said, I want. This is where you describe what you would want in plain English, but with as much information about the data as you see it and how you want it to be as you can give it. So let's just start with a really simple example. You see that break duration there. Let's say if the break is below 15 minutes, I want to have an angry icon. A quick shortcut you can use here for icons is the Windows key and full stop or period, depending where you live. So I'm, I want the angry icon to show. If the value is less than 15, you can even type less than. The important thing to show you here is that we are creating something called JSON. This is a structure that SharePoint can read, understand, and it can use to change the way that our data looks. It doesn't change the underlying information, just the visual representation of the information. We can change things like colors. We can change rows. We can change things to icons, depending what the value is. All sorts of things can be done with JSON. So let's click go. In the latest versions of ChatGPT, there's a lot more thinking goes on, a lot more processing behind the scenes to theoretically get you to a lot better answers. We can see here that we've got some simple JSON that checks the current field value is less than 15. And if it is, it shows an angry face emoji. OK, let's give it a go. You can also note, and it's worth reading this to get used to what JSON is really doing, but like I said at the start, you don't need to understand it. As long as you understand what's happening, you can then debug effectively. But it can talk you through the whole process there quite nicely. And if you want as well, you can paste JSON into it and say, explain what's going on here in layman's terms. But for now, let's click the break duration, click column settings, format the column, and the advanced mode. And we're going to paste that JSON in that we just got given. Click save. And there you go. We've got angry icons for the values which are lower than 15. What's not happened is it's not changed any data. Let's just prove that by clicking the grid view. And if you click into one of these values, you'll see it's 10. It's 5. It's 10 again. Click exit grid view. Fantastic. Now, the beauty of this now is because we've got context loaded into ChatGPT, we can go and expand what we're asking. OK, so a couple more icons there. Add to the JSON, use an Apple, healthy, for values over 45 because it's a healthy break, and everything else, use Mare. Once again, after a little bit of thinking time, we've got some JSON there. You can kind of read it to say, well, I get that's the current field, that's the, the field where I've placed this, the column. It's less than 15, angry. If it's greater than 45, Apple. Otherwise, it's going to be one of those two in between, put the uh, Mare face. So let's give that a whirl. Replace what we currently have there and click save. And there we go, done. Just zoom up a little bit so you can see it. So we've got all those nice icons there. So a good quick visual cue. And you'll notice if I flip over to the same thing in Microsoft Lists and click refresh, it's all applied in that list view as well. Before I show you the next one, just a subtle tweak. And don't worry, I will give you the JSON for all of these examples in the comments. I've added this in here which is a style for the effectively the font, the thing that's in that box. I've just said the size is 20px. If you copy paste this, you can go 24. You'll see what it does. Um, let me just delete the mistake there. Click save, gets bigger. So experiment with the value that you find most acceptable in that area there. The next one we're gonna do is gonna change this time worked number into hours and minutes. Now. Just a word of warning, I've been experimenting with GPT, with Copilot. Sometimes it does work really well for what I've just shown you. 
sometimes it doesn't and a great degree of patience is required to refine it to find a working snippet however I'm going to give you these snippets and make it easy on you so again I'm in Microsoft lists here this time just to prove it's very well it's the same as SharePoint we're going to choose the time worked column we're going to choose the advanced mode one thing to watch out for when you get given JSON is to make sure that it's using the correct schema using the correct framework for the language that applies to SharePoint specifically it is a slightly different schema to when JSON is used elsewhere the two can work but don't always work and what you might see if it's got the wrong schema is you might actually see whatever you've put here in your JSON actually in the column itself which is not what you want so as a shortcut here's a snippet that I baked earlier this one is using that version 2 schema it's gonna save the current field that's important to note that's the field that it's attached to the value is greater than 480 do some things then it's gonna be looking at um, formatting the values inside that field so if it's uh, if it's divisible by 60 add the hour to that value and for the remainder put the minutes now I'm not going to explain how that all works I would not be able to write that myself AI wrote this for me but let's just click Save using that formatting and you'll notice as well one thing I did do is if the value is over 480 minutes things like eight hours make it amber so I can instantly see that somebody has worked a slightly long time for example so now I'm starting to build up a picture I can see that they've had short breaks they worked a long time the last one I want to show you is how you format a row so I'm mostly interested in that pattern of behavior where someone might not be taking breaks might be working long days might be working in a high impact location this column here is just a choice field so let's work on now on highlighting the row if for example the red zone is the location that they worked to format the rows we're just going to head to the view instead of the column you can you can interchange but here you'll see there's a format current view it puts you on the correct tab you might accidentally change the columns if you click the wrong one click advanced mode again and just paste in the JSON that I'm going to give you in the comments what we're doing here is we're adding an additional interpretation a visual layer to SharePoint and that's what this additional row class is doing it's gonna look for two specific things it's gonna look for a column name which is here work location choice which is this one for me and a value red zone which is here make sure these are correct for your SharePoint list I'm going to show you a tip on that in a second and then if it finds them it's going to give it a peach color this CSS is a styling choice that you can make click Save and that's what it looks like for me I might choose to tweak the colors that I've got going on there but here's the trick I would encourage you to use to take my JSON and apply it to what you've got if you're unsure copy it go and pop that into ChatGPT or Copilot if you're feeling brave. This is the JSON I have been given. Adapt it for my SharePoint list. Change based on column called. And for you, just pause there, move that out of the way, and take a picture of your SharePoint list, just like that. So here's my picture, that's what it looks like. Let's pull this back over and I'm just going to paste it in it'll paste it in above there and in my case that might be I don't know days worked and tell it what you want change based on column called days worked I want Friday to be read instead let's just say instead let's be really as specific as we can and give that a go so what it should do is respect the format of the JSON respect the structure that we know works it should replace it for what it sees on your list here and the values you've instructed it and you should just be able to copy paste that back in so let's just see if it's done that we can put the two side by side so we've still got the additional row class we've got there we go so it's changed days worked as the thing that it's going to look at the column and it's going to look for the value Friday and it's going to give it a red font and all that background red that's all great so it's done that for you you could copy paste that put it in there that will work for you experiment try and use AI to help you get over these barriers that previously may have been insurmountable but now with a little bit of experimentation a bit of patience you can get lovely formatted SharePoint lists that pop off the screen with really small amounts of effort 
I hope that helps. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.